Animals are used as guinea pigs for treating special diseases. In research institutes around the world, the work of vaccine development requires the cooperation of veterinarians. It's because veterinarians are more familiar with laboratory animals in respect to their characteristics, physical conditions and behaviors than human doctors. Also, it's easier for veterinarians to direct animals during the experiment process. Moreover, veterinarians also provide pathological diagnosis. They collect evidence for clinical veterinarians to use to make a diagnosis. Different veterinarians contribute in their own fields. They strive to protect the health of both animals and humans. The so-called one medicine concept of integral medicine requires a close cooperation between MDs and veterinarians. Creatures on the earth can be roughly divided into plants and animals. Humans are one of the members in the animal world. In fact, humans and animals are the same because the problems we are dealing with are the same. Diseases are also the same. Accordingly, veterinarians are the same as human doctors. Both are protecting the health of animals. For example, in animal experimentation for the development of zoonosis vaccines, Veterinarians are working to help protect human health. Veterinarians play an important role in preventative medicine. There are numerous infectious diseases that can be transmitted between animals and humans. Besides harming the health of food animals and pets, they can be transmitted to humans and pose serious threats to public health. Mad cow disease, the SARS outbreak in Taiwan in 2003, well-known rabies cases, and the highly pathogenic avian flu that is reported every year are all examples of zoonosis. Veterinarians also work very hard on zoonosis prevention. Annual work on prevention and monitoring of bird flu continues. Registration of rabies vaccinations must be thoroughly executed as the most basic means of preventing rabies. At present, only seven countries in the world have eradicated rabies. The eradication of rabies in Taiwan relies on the joint effort of veterinarians, health units and the general public. In addition to the control and prevention of zoonoses, Veterinarians also conduct research to isolate pathogens and form databases. It is hoped that through molecular biological and microbiological comparisons, new zoonoses can be detected as early as possible to foster human health. The relations between humans and animals are close and subtle. As the most intelligent being among animals, humans should rethink how they treat other animals and realize that all creatures are equal. Meanwhile, expanding empathy to other species and ponder issues of animal protection and animal rights. We can promote the ideas of animal protection immediately making commitments to our companion animals that we will care for them and not abandon them and not allow stray animals to become problems to our society. 99% of stray dogs were abandoned by their owners. It means those dog owners have no sense of responsibility. Now we need to ask them to take the moral responsibility. If there is a more clear regulation governing animal rights in place, we can have a legal basis to ask those pet owners to take their responsibility. Thus, pet owners will think twice before they abandon their pets and take animal life more seriously. In Taiwan, the way of handling stray animals has been transformed by animal rights and humanity. From capturing and culls to rescues and adoption, the problem of stray animals boils down to pet owner's abandonment. 
humans dominate their relations with animals. To really solve the problem of stray animals, pet owners must rethink and avoid abandoning pets. To empower animal protection personnel to exercise public authority and ensure that animals are protected in our society. Animal Rescue Team, may I help you? Animal rescue teams have been established in recent years to play the role of animal rescuers. Animal ambulances are built based on animal welfare and are equipped with complete rescue equipment so that when any abused or injured animals are found, they can provide round-the-clock service. This is the most outstanding achievement in animal welfare that veterinarians in Taiwan have done. Because of the close relations between veterinary medicine and human life, Taiwan's veterinary network is approaching its maturity. Animals are closely related to human health. In the Taiwan government, there are three departments working closely with each other. The Council of Agriculture is in charge of animal disease prevention and quarantine. The Department of Health is responsible for affairs related to people's health. The Environmental Protection Administration takes care of the environment involving animal production. These three departments work together to prevent disease in the nation. There's also a common platform for reporting on food sanitation problems and their immediate responses. Our government has established related mechanisms. As a member of OIE, Taiwan is directly involved with disease prevention and academic exchanges in veterinary medicine and many other international affairs. Taiwanese veterinarians demonstrate the spirit of humanity and often help other countries control infectious diseases, doing our part for the protection of animal health. As for the future veterinary medical education and the development of veterinarians in Taiwan, we're working toward the following directions. First, implement the reform of our veterinary medicine education and connect our veterinary system with the rest of the world. Second, push for special veterinarians and continuing education systems. We hope that we can make breakthroughs in animal cancer medicine. The cultivation of talent in the field of laboratory animals is also one of our important tasks. In terms of animal infectious diseases, it's hoped that a fast and diversified animal disease diagnosis system can be established to prevent and monitor diseases transmitted between animals and humans. This is also an important part in our future training. Meat product sanitation and safety systems should also be strengthened. Animal welfare and protection should also receive veterinarians' attention. Lastly, regarding international cooperation and exchanges, we hope to continue to do our best in this part. The development of veterinary medicine in Taiwan has overcome many difficulties in the last century. However, our diligent efforts have finally been recognized by people at home and abroad. With nostalgic sentiment, we learn from our past experience. In terms of future improvement, we shall continue to do our best.